This video will show you how to set up Olympus, set up a server, and have other players remotely connect to the Olympus client and control your missions from their browser. I've gone ahead and completely uninstalled Olympus for the purpose of this tutorial. First things first, go to the link in the description for the download page. Currently the latest version is version 1.0.3. Go to the installer and download the installer zip. Once we've downloaded the file, we need to open it. Extract. Extract to, let it extract, there we go. DCS Olympus, first you need to do is you can read the instructions if you want, or you can just follow this video. We need to download the node version 20 first, so double click on that and let that install. Now that we've opened DCS Olympus setup, I'll go through what you need to do. If you plan on running this on a dedicated server, or what you'll need to make sure that you change your detected path to your DCS open beta server or DCS.server. It is vital that you do that. If you're just going to be running it on single player, just put it in your normal DCS install. But I'm going to be doing it on a dedicated server so we can all play remotely. All right, next, this is very important. If you do local installation, only you will be able to open the DCS Olympus client on your single player mission. It will not be reachable by external clients. Also, basically just your mates on their own PCs in their browsers. You won't, they won't be able to help out. However, if you want people to be able to remotely access the client and start spawning things in and start spawning things in and Zeusing for you, make sure you choose dedicated server installation. And also just remember, if we're doing dedicated server installation, the install path has to be dedicated server. Next. And next, we're choosing ser dedicated server. Now we're going to set up our config and password. So Game Master, I'm just going to go capital G, capital M. This is how you're going to log into different slots once you're in the website. Uh, this part here is also very important. 3001 does not work anymore as for Windows update, as you can see on the DCS Olympus page. Important note, due to a recent Windows update, the default port, backend port may be already in use by your computer. So we're going to change it to 3002. We're going to hit next. And this will just do a shortcut. Next. Create a desktop shortcut. Yes. Next. Install. So now it's going to install, and then at the end it's going to install a node.javascript module, which will take a bit of time, but that lets us go on to the next part, which is port forwarding. So now that we're in our port forwarding section from our router, all we need to do is put in a name, make sure it's not DCS so it doesn't conflict with the UPnP rules DCS has set up. So I had called it DCS server, but I could, you can also just call it Olympus. External host, if you have this option, just put an asterisk in there, meaning that any address can log into that. Internal host is going to be your IP address. Obviously, it's blurred out on this video because you don't need to know my IP. Uh, external and internal port, which we will show, 3000, 3000 for the front end. You would hit add, and then you would do the back end port, which is 3002, 3002, and that's then you add that and as you can see I've got two here on TCP UDP which is this protocol button and they're on ports 3000 and 3002 that sets up the port forwarding so we also will go to our completing the setup wizard it is completed pause the video this video is sponsored by <laughs> anyways please like and subscribe p p please I, I really need you to Anyway, Sam also has a Patreon now, so that would also really help me out. I'm trapped in his basement in Hamilton. I All right, so now let's get a server running so we can try and connect to it. It's quite simple. We just need to make sure that we run DCS World Open Beta as admin. We need to run the server as an administrator, and that will boot up and do its thing. All right, now we have our DCS Open Beta server open. Let's, we've got our web GUI open. Let's just double check to make sure our ports are visible. Which they shouldn't be just yet until we open Olympus, then it will start listening. Yeah, here you go. An error. I could not see. So, first things first though, let's open the Olympus configurator. 
before we actually open Olympus. You should probably do this before you even run the server, but I'm just going to put a asterisk in, so any IP address, so anyone can join. Client, uh, I've, it's already set to 3000, which is fine. The backend port is 3002, which is fine, that's what we want. Uh, G, we'll keep the current those, so I'm just, I uh, always well, change that there. Okay, let's run Olympus as admin, just because we can. It's starting up, it's listening on port 3000, so we can double check this by checking to see if that we can see, there we go. Success, now that we've got Olympus open, but we also need to check out backend port. This is what's causing the connecting loop, where you click, you try and log in and it just stays on connecting forever. This is the problem. As you can see, it is allowing me, it, it's working for me, but it wasn't yesterday. So what I had to do was actually go to my firewall, and inside my firewall, I had to go to advanced settings, inbound rules, and as you see, in the inbound rules, I have Olympus. And the way to do this is you go, new rule, rule type, port, protocol and ports. Just do 3000, 3002. But if you're using a different port, like for example, 3014, 3015, it would just be 3014, 3015. But make sure you're port forwarding those ports or it will not work. So I just did 3000, 3002. And I hit next and I did allow the connection so it always allows the connection and I did domain public private and gave it a name and hit finish and that will do it I just named mine Olympus all right so that should fix the issue with the infinite connecting so now we can see our port on both the front end and the back end it's gonna wait for connections right so let's go get our public IP here and go 3000 we should be able to connect just like that and as you can see we start getting a whole bunch of stuff populating inside the server and we're going to put our brand name in so i'm just going to go and then obviously our password so our password for the role that we want so if we want to be the game master we do the password for game master if you want to be red commander, it's a password you set for that, and vice versa for the blue. I want to be game master, so I'm going to put that password in, hit connect, and wada bing, wada boom, here is our mission. I hope you found this video useful, and I hope it fixed a problem. If you have a problem, do that firewall thing, and just make sure you use can you see me to see if you can find, if it can actually spot your backend port. If it isn't spotting it, that is why it's stuck on connecting, and I hope this helps.